interest in skateboarding started around the age of three. My older brother was pretty much my main influence when it came to looking at someone being psyched and stoked on someone. We always had skateboards around the house, so it was just something that we always did that was uh, a given. But I really got plugged into skateboarding more at the age of 15 when like ollies were a new thing. But before that, around the age of 11 is when I got into the hip hop culture and that got me into graffiti. When it comes to my artwork, my main influence there is actually my mum. And my mum taught me how to handwrite really well at a young age. So at about three and four as well, I was learning how to cursive write. Taught me how to have pen control. Ended up becoming professional in skateboarding at a kind of later age. I think I was around 20, 21 maybe. I got my first pro model board. One of our sponsors flew us out to Japan and that's where I was able to get my first legit G-Shock. Hooked up a, um, it was a DW8800. I wore that, I thrashed that thing to death. So much to the point where once the band went, I made up my own band name. It's a G-Shock, but it's got like this leather thick leather band, it almost looked like this barbarian thing, but the G-Shock was sitting there. And, um, that, yeah, I had that thing for so long and th ended up thrashing that. So yeah, the current watch um, into at the moment is the Mudmaster simply because of its aesthetic, its versatility and its ruggedness. And that's something that I've been attracted to. I got my first one back in 97, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, the Mudmaster's just got that aesthetic where it, it has got that classic ruggedness, it's tech as well, it's got a lot of tech features to it and it's extremely visible. If I'm out in the sunlight, if I'm out in the dark painting in different ways or if I'm out skating, doing my thing, it just, yeah, it, it works. So, um, and it cops a beating, that's what I love about it. But I'm Sid Tapia and this is my G-Shock story.